Danielle and Bethany here. Today we are experiencing a second winter in Wisconsin and we are attempting to bring in some happiness and joy. So we are going to make ourselves a mermaid hair bow. So here you see I have Cricut Design Space open and I've already lined up on the virtual mat where I've placed my faux leather. This is for the glitter back and you see I've lined it up against the one inch line. I've measured out that I could get five out of this specific piece of faux leather. So I'm gonna press continue. Once it loaded, press faux leather, paper thin, and I want more pressure. So I'm going to start my first layer with the back layer. It's a chunky glitter and I'm gonna have to tape it down really well. And the reason I placed it at the one inch line is because I am literally going to go from edge to edge on this cut. You can make a smaller version. It's totally fine. But for me, I chose to do this on purpose just because I wanted to maximize the amount of real estate on this faux leather, basically. Also because I've done these mermaid hair bows in the past and I've done them bigger actually. So this is small for me. I made it smaller just for this tutorial. All right, and I'm gonna bray it down really well. The other reason I moved it over an inch though was also because um, a lot of times if you use your mats a lot, your, your first inch is gonna be the least tacky on each corner whether or not you flip your mat or not. All right, load. As always, before you take it off the mat, you wanna double check your cut. And here you can see it cut pretty okay. There are certain parts that it did not cut all the way through. Instead of doing a double cut, I'm gonna unload it and cut it with scissors. Now that the back layer is cut, I'm going to go ahead and cut the tail and the ribbon portion. I'm going to show you the mat I already put together, but you're going to have to adjust your tails based off of A, the direction you're putting your material on the mat, and also B, what direction you want the scales to go. So for me, I want the scales to go in an arc coming out the tail. So the arc is at the top. No matter what, you want to make sure that your ribbon is the same direction because that ribbon will be going right over the top of the edge of the tail. And I wanna make sure that the pressure is still at more. So I scraped off as much glitter on my mat as possible. And now I I want to line it up directly to the edge. I'm going to reuse most of the tape that I re I used for the last one. As long as it still is tacky and fits over the edge of everything, that's totally fine to reuse until it doesn't work anymore. I am all about reusing. And I have actually already pre-cut down in half one for the edge so I don't have to worry about a lip here. Sometimes I'm lazy and I do it, but lately I've been realizing that my rollers will get gunked up if I don't do this. So I prefer not to have to clean my rollers every time I do full leather cuts this way instead. All right, make sure you're braying really good. And you'll notice I've gained an accumulation of glitter up here. I'm gonna clean it after I'm completely done just because it's not gonna matter if I get glitter on this one specifically. All right, loading it. So once again, double checking the cuts, you'll notice that I had to quickly grab. There were a couple times where it cut completely through and started ripping up the faux leather. There's a couple reasons for that. One, you can see I still have glitter under there. So that means that most likely the blade right here caught on some glitter and popped up. So it didn't cut fully through on certain places. I can either hand cut them or I can just let it go. It's totally up to me. So unloading and we will start assembling. 
So to assemble these, you first need to put your back together. I have my Gorilla hot glue gun set on the lowest setting. When you're doing fabric to fabric, you don't really need a high setting. But when you add the metal of the hair clip, you want to add the high setting. So I'm going to pinch them together. And I'm just going to hold it for a second. And now that it seems to be together, I'm going to go around and find any edges that didn't fully cut through. Next you would add the tail, so just put a dab of glue just a little off center. And hold it for a moment. Then go ahead and put a full dab of glue across the center. Grab your ribbon, make sure it's facing the same direction as the tail in terms of your scales. And put a dab of glue on the bottom. Fold up and over, then on the top, fold down and hold for a moment. Now I've pre-cut three and a half inch, it's kind of hard for you to see, but this is tool. I pre-cut it and it's about three and a half inches. I could go smaller, I could go bigger. It's kind of up to you what size width you want. Um, I've used the length, I've used all different styles, so it's kind of, there's no specific length to use for this, but just put a very generous heaping of glue, because what's going to happen is you end up smashing it, so to speak. I flip it over a little bit after, and then pushing it in. What's going to happen is your tail is going to lift up a little bit, so it kind of looks like a mermaid's tail but before it sets you want to adjust how you want it to be fanned out or spread out now we're going to add the clip this clip I got from Amazon it's an inch and three quarters length so first you add your dab of glue I have this now on the highest setting because we're working with metal and then just eyeballing it line it up middle to middle and then hold it briefly while I'm still holding it I'm going to grab my E6000 and very carefully uncap so I don't this is a newer one so it could get everywhere but then I'm going to fold this back and give myself a generous glob of the E6000 place it back upright I'm going to grab A clip and I place it in between I don't know if you can see that but in between I don't want to completely press that down and flatten it too much but then I'm gonna gently fold back this side grab more E6000 do a line of that hold it with my finger and then grabbing another Dollar Tree clip and clipping it to that without bending it. And then you let it dry for 24 hours. This is the mermaid bow that we made today. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. If you want to purchase the SVG, feel free to check out the link down below if you would like to support our little family and our little shop, shop down below. And any other support links I will put down huh? there as well. And we hope you have a wonderful day and think summer thoughts. Bye-bye. 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 Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and we hope to see you very soon. Bye-bye. Let's say bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Oh, there we go. Okay. So this is the mermaid bow. Show them. And today... We are experiencing second winter here in Wisconsin, and so we are going to bring in... Today we are experiencing a second... Thank you.